Oh, it looks like it looks like I'm back. What the heck was that? Huh. That was the first time I've had that happen since I got the Ethernet cable. Ah, Tadaima. Tadaima, yes. Uh, yeah, what, why was this? Can I, can I, can I, can I look at it? No. No. That was strange. My internet has been acting weird lately. Ah, hello, Nabiru. I am back, yes. Oh, God, my viewers haven't updated on my streamlabs. How are we on... It says no one. Let me refresh something. I just realized we want- I've reached a hundred followers! Yay! Brilliant. Brilliant. Awesome. Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, for- for, uh, joining the library. Yes! Omedito! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, it's, it's very fun- very good news. Very good news. Improving in the world. <laughs> um, trying to just double check to make sure that everything is fine and dandy. Uh, just checking in on the daemon. Hype, hype, hype. Yes, yes, yes. Alright. And, okay, yep. Viewers are back to being, there should be nine of you. I haven't actually looked to see who's here. Who's here? It's me. Oh, that's that's not nine. That's like... That's a lot of users. I don't really know how that works. Anyways. Oh, wait. Refresh? No. Okay. Continuing onwards. This was... Yasui. Which, if I'm remembering cor correctly... This is in reference to particular tastes. I think it's bitter, but I don't remember 100%. Cake. Cake. Oh no, it's money. It. Best not to check, it gives you a headache. Yeah. N is money. Yasui. Yasui. What are the other ones? Imo toy. Imo toy. Ie. Ie. Ane. Yasui. Okay. Inexpensive. Oh, Yasui. Okay, okay. So Yasui. Okay, now I remember. Yasui is cheap. Um. What? What is the opposite one? I'm trying to remember before they tell me. Karai. No, that's spicy. It's right there. Um, it's not Atakai that was hot. Why am I thinking about other things? Hmm. Hmm. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've had to think about this word. No, I cannot remember the word. I'm sure it'll come up again. Yes, yeah, Sui. Is inexpensive or uh, cheap, as they say here in the in the states. Cheap. Niku wa takai desu. Takai. It's it's that. Oh yeah, and immediately told takai. me takai. Yasui. Cheap. Takai. Expensive. Meat is expensive. Ain't that the truth? Not. <laughs> Meat's just expensive in general now. Ugh. Bun. 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 Duolingo is listening. <laughs> yup. Seems like it. Am I... Oh, actually. I don't remember which one that is. Hiru is this. Hiru. Yasui is this. Yasui. I could cheat. I think this is Amai. Kirai. 
It is not. It is kirai. That means hate. And this this amai. is amai, which is sweet. Sakana ga kirai desu. Sakana ga kirai desu. I do not like fish. Sakana ga kirai desu. So, saying to not like something, you can either say suki janai or kirai. Doesn't matter. I eat sweet bread. Sweet bread. Oh, you can also say, I will eat sweet bread. I eat sweet bread. Doesn't. <laughs> I'm glad that it didn't care about the difference. Sen. Sen. Kirai. Kirai. Amai. Amai. Atsui. Atsui. Yasui. Yasui. Takai It is expensive. Takai desu. This chair is cheap. Cheap. Yasui. Takai niku o tabemasu. I eat expensive meat. Good for you! You're a bear! Of course you would eat meat. Actually, you eat fish. You're supposed to eat fish. Bear. I do not like tea. Yes, good for that lucky bear being able to afford meat. Man, this and this girl is missing out. She she's not she doesn't like tea. Tea is great. Like I'm having coffee right now cuz it's convenient and it's here. But I also have tea. Ah, this rice is sweet. Is that a good thing though? I don't know. I don't know if that's a good thing. Is that cheap? Tea is very good. Ooh, I wonder if there's a delay now. Hmm. No, nah, it's not too bad of a delay, so I'm just gonna stay with it. Hmm. Oh ho, you're gonna make it more difficult for me, are you? Well then, come at me. Ke this cake is delicious. Keki wa oishi des. Eh? Oh, this cake. Kono keki. Ah. I forgot a word. This is fine. Especially the southern sweet tea. Ooh, southern sweet tea. Yeah, that can that that's definitely one. That's good. I like all tea. I know, I forgot the kono. I forgot the kono. I think there is a delay. Hmm. Okay. Kono. kono. Gohan. Gohan. Wa. Wa. Amai. Amai. Des. Des. I learned from my mistakes. And okay. Kono. Kono. Keki. Wa. Wa. Oishi. Oishi. Des. Des. Yay. Okay. All is well. All is well in the world. We take these. It might be. If you if you refresh, uh, it should work. And actually, you know what? Uh, one thing I'm going to do. Oh, no. It won't let me. I was going to roll an ad so I would use the restroom, but it won't let me. That is unfortunate. But I think I will go to, let's see, do I actually have to use the restroom? No, it's an illusion. Later. Next we have family one. 
This is probably where we learn about um, Ototo, Imoto, One-san, Oji-san, all that. Kanojo. Kanojo. That's girl or woman. This is this is the this is this is woman. Kanojo. Oh, actually, wait. I right. <laughs> Who are you? Dare deska? Kanojo. Kanojo. Mm -hmm. Ah. Gamer mentality. Food, sleep, restroom equals all illusions. There is only games. <laughs> that that does tend to be how it is. Her name is Sakura. Kanojo no namae wa Sakura desu. How to know Sakura desu? Kare wa dare desu ka? Kare wa dare desu ka? Who is he? Kare. Who is he? Kare wa dare desu ka? Camera wa doko ni arimasu ka? Ah, review exercise. Camera wa doko ni arimasu ka? Where is the camera? Camera wa doko ni arimasu ka? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Mm-hmm. Get rid of the ones that I know first. Zu. Zu. Ryugaku. Ryugaku. Kanojo. Kanojo. Uh, I literally just saw these, but I'm already forgetting. Kare. Kare. Yeah, and dare. Dare. Alright. Kanojo wa dare desu ka? Who is she? Kanojo wa dare desu ka? Dare. 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 What is her name? Kanajo no namae wa nan desu ka? I'm always a bit confused with the word kamera, both in Japanese and English. Oh! Uh, anything in particular about it you're confused about? Kamera. Like, why does it have its name? Or just pronouncing it? Camera. Camera. I think it's definitely a word that might be pronounced slightly differently but depending on where you're from. Like, I say camera. Someone with a more uh, accented voice might say camera or something like that. Like, really enunciate it. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah. Because in my mother tongue, camera is always a... Oh, I see. Okay. Hmm. I think in... Then I would have to ask, what is... Not not the one who takes pictures. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, What do you call the one that takes pictures then? Because I think I think I know the answer to this question for you in regards to English. So, uh, camera or uh, camera is just like an in general use term for camera, for like ta something that takes a picture. Um, it can also be used to reference a video video camera. Um, but we also tend to call. Like, you know, a film camera is a film camera that's very specific. Like, a film camera for, like, a movie is specifically something. It's not taking pictures. It's recording film for a movie. So, that that's its own particular. Picture device. Okay. Interesting. Um, one thing that we used to call, like, the handheld video cameras, they would be called. Um... We would call those video recorders because they were recording the video. Um. <laughs> no worries, no worries. 
Um, appare foto. Appare foto. Hmm. It is interesting. I wonder why. I wonder why that language of yours decided to do that. Hmm. But yeah. yeah. Languages be weird like that. They translate each other's things into various things. Mm hmm. Kare. Kare. Mm hmm. Kare no namae wa nan desu ka? What is his name? Kare no namae wa nan desu ka? Mayasa? Oh, every day. Or every morning. Hold on. That's this one. Mai asa. Mai asa. Fe. 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 Kanojo. Kanojo. Kare. Kare. Dare. Dare. Nice. Wa dare? <laughs> Who is that? Are wa dare? Kare wa toire ni imas. He is in the restroom. Kare. Wa toire ni imas. Okay. He's in the toilet. Kare wa doko ni ikimasu ka? Kare wa. Kare wa doko ni ikimasu ka? Oh, <laughs> where is he going? Ikimasu ka? Oh, who is he? Kare, kare, kare. Kare. Wa. Wa. Des. Des. Ka. Kare wa desu ka? Oh, I've missed something. Kare wa dare. Ah, da. Uh, dare des. Dare desu ka? Who? Dare is who? Darn. It's fine. <laughs> I did mention, even though I used to be fluent in Japanese, I'm. This is. This is me refreshing my memory of the language. <laughs> been been many many moons, many suns. Okay. Kanojo, Kanojo. wa dare, dare. Des. des ga. Okay. Okay. Back to this. Kare, kare. wa dare, dare. des des ga. Okay, we're fine. We're we're fine and dandy now. Ototo. Ototo. Little brother. This is the symbol for little brother. Imoto. Imoto. This is little sister. I know these ones. Imoto. Oh, I already, I all of a sudden forgot. <laughs> Imoto. There we go. What's this one? Ane. Okay, not that. Emoto. Yes, Emoto. Um, the left symbol is the symbol for girl. The right symbol is tree. I think. Uh, a toto. A toto is more like little brother. Like if you're saying someone's a little boy, you would say that they are like um. How would you say that? Um, yeah, yeah. Ototo is more used to be little brother. Ane. Ane. Boku wa kare no ototo desu. Boku wa kare no ototo desu. Ah, um, I am his younger brother. Boku wa, I am. Kare no, his, ototo, younger brother. Mm -hmm. Ototo. Ototo. Ane ga futari imasu. Ane is Ane. older sister. Ah, right. Ane. Ane ue. Or something like that. Ane ga futari imasu. I am. Imas, imas, half. It is half. Okay, I have two older sisters. Ane ga futari imas. Watashi wa kanojo no imoto desu. 
私は I am 彼女の her younger sister 私は彼女の妹です。うん。あね、that was this one。あね。あにの名前はしげるです。あに、is older brother。あに、あにき。and then、um, depending on what symbol。so that particular kanji does mean older brother。i've had a discussion with damon about this actually、um,。this kanji by itself。あに、does mean older brother。Combined with other words, it can be pronounced differently. Because、uh, kanji inherently have multiple pronunciations associated with them, depending on the context. Sometimes. Some of them. It's kind of.、Um, someone can correct me on this, but it's a. Side effect of the writing system of kanji being. Introduced from China. So, all the kanji that exist in Japan have, or that are from China, there is sort of a more Chinese pronunciation of them. So, kanji do have multiple ways that they can be pronounced, depending on circumstances. Isn't history fun? Aren't we here in a library to learn? Anyways. Ani no namae wa shigeru de. Oh, it's Shigeru Onisan from Fruit Basket. Nice. My older brother's name is Shigeru. Yeah. Brilliant. What are all these notifications popping up? Ooh. Aki is streaming. Maybe I'll go raid him later. Later, later. Ani? Ani. Kare no toto wa dare desu ka? Who is his younger brother? Kare no his younger brother. Who? <laughs> Stupid rat, dumb cat. Yes, look, fruit basket is fantastic. Both versions. The original version is such a great nostalgia trip, and the newer version is such a good remake, especially since I was able to go into the rest of the manga, which I had read back in the day. Ani? Ani. Ototo? Ototo. Kanojo? Kanojo. Ane? Ane. Imoto? Imoto. Imoto ga nana ni i m a s i m o t ga nana ni i m a s It. I have seven younger sisters. Please, no. No. I am the younger sister. I am the youngest child of my family. I could not imagine myself having younger si siblings ever. It won't happen anytime soon. Mm hmm. Uh, I will say, I see. Larger families are less common nowadays. But, you know, larger families were, were very common, at least for、um, European descendants like me. Because the reason for having children is that you would have more hands to work on whatever it is that your profession was. Mm hmm. For, yes, John from Ruby. That's a good call out. Imoto. That one. Imoto. Ani. Ani. Kare. Kare. Ane. Ane. Ototo. Ototo. Ooh, okay, they're making it harder. Oh, we saw this sentence.、Uh, my older brother. Watashi? Or maybe Ani. Ani? Ani. No. No. Namai. Namai. Wa. Wa. Shigeru. Shigeru. Des. Des. Ha ha! Alright. Oh, this is the same thing. Ane. Ane. No. No. Namae. Namae. Wa. w 
は Sakura? Sakura です。です。Alright. Nice, 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 nice. 彼女たちは姉妹です。し姉妹姉妹。姉妹。Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So that's a, that's a fun little, little thing there. So the kanji for shimai, which is sisters, is both the kanji for older sister and the kanji for younger sisters. So sisters. How exciting! Oh, I, I love learning. Like, I, I love recognizing that type of thing.、Uh, they are sisters, Your Honor. Kanojo tachi wa shimai desu. Kare ra wa gakusei desu. Kare wa. Kare ra? Kare ra wa. Ah, they. So, okay. <clears throat> Kare,、uh, we've been learning, is like saying he or his. Kare ra would be they. Okay. They are students. It doesn't say college students. Just students. Ah, and then、uh, kyo, Kyodai. Kyodai is brother. Kyodai is just base level brother. Okay, now that, now that I'm recognizing kanji again, Kyodai is the combination of older brother and younger brother. Ergo, Kyodai. Mm hmm. Okay. That was much more. This is, this, this is a revelation. Okay. People from the US are not interested in learning another language and only know how to, how to say this is America, speaks English, or go to your country, and there are many videos on YouTube and current on this. Okay. I would say that is partly false.、Um, There are plenty of Americans that do want to learn another language and absolutely have to to be able to get any sort of profession. Like, my. There was a job that I tried to get hired at years ago、uh, at a Denny's. And basically, because I didn't know Spanish well enough, they didn't hire me. Oh! Echoes! Echoes! Geekolux! Geek. Geekoluxy! Geekoluxy! Thank you for the follow! Thank you, thank you.、Um, but yeah, I know, in regards to like Americans not wanting to learn another language, there are plenty of them that are in like maybe the center, center states, like in the middle of the country, that probably don't, are not、um, as sensitized to foreign things. Like, there's plenty of people that are on the coastal states, like California, Florida. Uh, New York, all of them, Washington, that will absolutely want to learn another language because there will, there's so many people from around the world in their states. So it really does, de it depends on where you're growing up from. It's not like Europe, where I love, I love Europe.、Uh, Europe h a v e all their countries so close to each other. And so, of course, it, it is. In their best interest to learn multiple languages to be able to communicate with their country neighbors. My, someone I grew up with,、um, long, long story short, my mother would take part in various foreign exchange programs and、uh, we would have people from around the world stay at our place. And one, one such person ended up becoming a, third,、uh, a second sister to me. Um, and she's from Spain. And they do teach English in class there because England is so close. And of course, it's、uh, British English rather than、uh, American English.、Mm. But、uh, thank you for the, the topic dis discussion, though. It is interesting. And then, of course, like anyone that's into nerd culture in general, like anime. Common writer, anything like that, they'll want to learn other language. I'm from Belgium and can't even talk the language spoken in half the country. Ah, uh, Belgium, let me think.、Uh, that's around, it's near France, 
so French. There is also, I mean, England right there. There's Spain over. I'm trying to remember exactly where it is compared to everything else. I mean, there's Swiss that is slightly nearby. There's German that's nearby. This is me just guessing what languages would be in your country. Because uh, I don't... Does Belgium have its own language or do they... Is it just like a mix of other languages? Because it is one of those... That's a good question. Does Liechtenstein just speak Swiss? Liechtenstein is one of the smallest countries in Europe. They are basically just... Uh, they were protected by Switzerland in, like, one of the world wars or something like that. Something, something. I only know this knowledge because of Italia. Um, so I, I will... I will stand to be corrected. Karewa... They are brothers. Kare ra wa kyodai desu. Ah, okay, so that's Kanajo wa, the girl. One san, older sister. No special language since they're right between France and Netherlands. That's the language. Oh! Uh, what did they. The Netherlands, yes, yes, yes. So it would be French and what we Americans called, or what we English speaker, speakers called Dutch. Um, although I've recently learned, in theory, everybody is supposed to learn each other's language at school. In theory, that's true. That is true. Dutch. Mm. But yeah, I've I've learned recently that um, from someone else that was here in the chat last week that the Dutch, or sorry, the Netherlanders, uh, they're only called Dutch because the British uh, kind of misnomered them, misnamed them to be associated with Germany because Germany is Deutschland. Mm -hmm. Basically, a few French speaker is actually able to speak their Dutch patols. Patois. I see. Okay. A few French speakers is actually able to speak the Dutch. Hmm. I see, I see. Oh yeah, uh, what was this? Kanojoa One Sanga. Oh, is it uh she Imas? She has Oh, Kanojo, she, has, imas, uh, four older sisters. One-san ga yon ni imas. Okay. Kare wa onii-san ga san ni imas. Okay, this is about the same thing. He has three older brothers. Kare wa onii-san ga san in imas. So I guess what I would say is, um... Watashi wa... Onii-san ga... Ichinin imas? Yeah, I only have one older sister, technically. Watashi wa... Onii-san ga... Ichinen imas. Cool. Kyodai desu ka? Are you brothers? Hmm. Watashi tachi wa shimai desu. We are sisters. Watash, watashi tachi wa... Actually, can you repeat that? Watashi tachi wa shimai desu. Watashi tachi wa shimai desu. I kind of liked the way that she pronounced it. I wish we just all double focused on English instead of learning each other's languages. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense in a way. Because, like, from my experience in Europe, because I did go to Europe for a summer, like for a couple of weeks from everything that I saw. This was, this was like, 
14 years ago, so it might be different now. But at the very least, a lot of places in Europe just have English on a bunch of their signs. So, yeah, sure, learning your primary language in whatever country you're in makes a lot of sense. Um, but it just seems like that English is slightly taking over. Even in Japan, there's a lot of signs in Japan that have English on them, especially for, like, trying to find certain... In train stations and major areas, there will be English. Yeah, English is very tricky, though. Um, the saying goes that English is one of the more difficult languages to learn in a way, because there are so many weird nuances to it. And of course, you know, there are dialects and slang and a bunch of differences, especially between British English and uh, American English. And then, of course, at this point, you have South Africa uh, that, you know, you would consider being another variant of English. Or having another variant of English. I actually don't know if they have anything in particular that's different than England at this point. Mm. Okay. Let us continue forth. We are sisters. Kanujo tachi wa shimai desu ka? Are they sisters? Yeah. Oh, hello. Alright, I just got a message from someone. I'll have to reply to that uh, in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Kare wa are they brothers? Yeah. Ah, do you have? Imas is have. Do you have? Ah, siblings. So, that's another interesting bit. Kyodai does mean brothers. I guess it can also mean siblings for simplicity. I'm sure that there's like another word for just siblings, but eh. Who am I to judge the dual lingo? Ooh, okay. So her older sister older sister is a Koko High School student. Yeah Dissecting these sentences. Kanojo no one san wa koko sei des. Oh, it's a, this is an exercise. It's a puppy. Um, ko inu des. Ko inu des. Inu is dog. Ko is uh, younger, or like young. So ko inu is puppy. Ooh, is that just kyo dai shi? I forgot what the, how to pronounce the other word. I see, I see, I see. Because that's just the combination of brothers and sisters. So the full word would be siblings. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. I don't know if they're going to teach us this. That, 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 I don't know if they're going to show that to us here. Uh, uh, kare, his, onisan, older brother, older brother, san wa, is... Chugaku is in, oh sorry, is a mill school student. Nice. Kare no onisan wa. Onisan wa. E blah, 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 blah. Kare no onisan wa wa. Blah, blah, blah. Kare no onisan wa chugaku sei desu. Hmm. Kanojo no onisan wa shougaku gonensei desu. Oh. Why are we just making them all younger? Kanojo no, uh, her, oni san wa, her, older brother, is a go nensei. Ah, go nensei. That would be fifth year. Go nin, 
fifth year. Go Nensei, fifth year student. Uh, fifth grader, though, is how we would also say it in America. Uh, whatever year you are in school. So fifth grader, sixth grader, seventh grader, up until you get to, you can still say ninth grader, tenth grader, eleventh grader, but those also end up having a nickname known as freshman, sophomore, junior. Ah. Keep getting notifications on my phone. Scary. Oh. Kare is his. His older sister. Older sister is a Daigaku college student. Yeah, there we go. Woohoo! Perfecto. Again. Ryoshin. Yo Ryosh or is this one? Ryoshin? Ryoshin. Ryoshin. Ah, parents. Ryoshin. Ryoshin. Mutsu. This is six, but in regards to like counting something, I think. And then Kodomo is kids. I already forgot. <laughs> One of these two. Ryoshin. Ah, oh, got it. Ryoshin. Parents. <laughs> Child. Tamago. Tamago. No, I know it's not. Kodomo. Child. Kodomo. Tamago. Ryoshin. Go Ryoshin. Go Ryoshin. Go Ryoshin. Ooh. Hmm. Putting the go at the the front might be one of those things of uh, you change its prefix to be more polite or something. Uh, how are your parents? Genki desu ka? Kare? Kare. Dare? Dare. Ryoshin? Ryoshin. Kodomo? Kodomo. Ane. Ane. Nice. Oh, Ryoshin means both parents. So one of those, I would have to look at it again. Uh, one of those symbols was mother and the other one was father. Okay. Two parents. I see. Oh, never mind. I, okay, okay, okay. Never mind, never mind. I see what you're saying. It means both parents. One symbol is like both and the other is parent. Okay. Sumimasen, excuse me. Anata wa dare desu ka? Who are you? Sumimasen, anata wa dare desu ka? Dare? Dare. Kodomo? Kodomo. Kanojo? Kanojo. Ani? Ani. Ryu Ryoshin. 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 Ryoshin wa doko desu ka? Ryoshin wa. Hmm. Where are. Go Ryoshin wa doko desu. Where are your parents? Where's your parent? Where are your parents? Go Ryoshin wa ego ga hanase masu ka? Can your this is a rude question kind of i don't know i don't know if i would like randomly ask someone if their parents speak english that seems a little weird like in what context in what context would you actually ask this question and have it not seem rude can your parents speak english like Okay, so it's one thing to be like, you're talking to someone and you're like, oh, do you happen to speak English? And that's completely fine, I think. You know, you're just asking the person right to their face, like, hey, do you speak English? Um, but, but if you know someone and you're speaking in another language, be like, oh, do your parents speak English? And just, 
In what world is this question asked? The only the only reason I think this would need to be asked is like, let's say I'm trying to I'm trying to paint this scenario. Basically, like Okay. I guess it's fine with some more context. Yeah, it has to have more context. So here's the bit. Uh, and I'm going to use an example from what what I've been through. So there was this time when I when I was in my trip through Europe that I really needed to go get something from a pharmacy while I was in France. But my French was not good enough. Um, let's say in my scenario that um, I needed to ask the parent of my friend if they if the parent spoke english so that i could ask them to do something for me in that regard then it might be fine to ask if your parents speak english so you could explain better what it is that you needed from them but in that case like if you're asking someone if their parents speak english so yet you can try to get something important why aren't you just asking your friend to translate for you? <laughs> you see, this this question is like very weird. Reminds me of something you hear in a movie when someone is interrogating others. Yeah, but that also is rude. That means like you're being kind of racist and being like, hey, do your parents speak English? Are they from here? No, like... This question should not be this this question should not be asked in any context. <laughs> this is the debate of the century for me. Like this question is bad. This question is rude. Okay, I figured out another scenario where it might be might not be so bad. So let's say the interrogation yeah they are usually rude but they really shouldn't be trying to racially profile you like that's a that's a big no-no nowadays um so another another <laughs> another weird context scenario so let's say um you 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 and your friend you're you're not english speakers let's just say that for the context of this scenario you and your friend are not English speakers, and you go over to their house, and you happen to see that there's a lot of posters and, like, the, like, framed posters in the living room for, uh, for, like, movie posters, or, like, very popular posters of some form, or, like, music posters. Like, um, say that they have posters for, like, Metallica or other English music. And so then you would be able to ask in curiosity, of like, oh, do you you see these posters for English things of cinema or entertainment? And you could ask then, like, oh, do your parents do your parents speak English? I see I see that there are a lot of a lot of English media things here. Do they happen to speak the language? And in that context, then like that might be an okay place to ask the question. I believe there is a better way to ask besides using that phrase. Exactly! There are better ways to ask than that phrase. <laughs> I just- I have- I have come up with one- one scenario that is very specific where that question wouldn't be entirely rude to say. Uh, Ryoshin wa Nihon ni sundeimasu. Wait. So. Ryoshin, parents. Oh. My parents live in Japan. Okay. Ooh. My parents, Watashi no Ryushin wa Tokyo Shushun Shushin des are from Tokyo. My parents are from Tokyo. Kodomo ga roku ni imasu. Ah. Uh, oh. Oh, I have six children. I'm so sorry. 
これはあなたのですか ?What is this yours? これはあなたのですか、oh, okay. that's, a, that's, a, that's an okay question. 子供たち。Children! Harder? Okay. Um, go, Rio Shin, Wa, Doko, Doko, Des, Ka. This also, uh, Anata. There's no no, so Anata no go. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. Is this yours? Okay, we just learned this. Um, Kore, Kore, Wa, Wa, Anata, Anata. No. no. This, this is probably wrong. Oh, it is right. Okay. Kore wa anata no desu ka? Okay. Yay! Yay! Dancing owl. Family. Ah, kazoku. This is a word that one might know if you um, frequent the. One Piece anime? Kazoku? That should be family. Mm hmm. Also, this is a haha, mom, but also it is okasan, which is also mom. Haha, okasan. Same thing. Kazoku? Kazoku. Otosan. Otosan. Otosan wa doko desu ka? Where is Otosan wa doko desu ka? Where is your father? Some somewhere in Florida. Vague. Okasan. Okasan. And then Chichi is also a casual way to say father. Mother. Haha. Haha. Okasan wa ogenki desu ka? Okasan wa ogenki. How is your mother? Okasan wa ogenki desu ka? Okasan wa. Ogenki desu ka? Chi chi? Chi chi? Otosan wa ogenki desu ka? Otosan wa ogenki desu ka? How is your father? Chi chi? That was this one? Chi Kazoku? Actually, I forgot. Hold on. Kanojo? Kanojo. Haha? Haha. Kodomo? How is your family? Nice. Okazoku wa ogenki desu ka? Ototo? Ototo. Haha? Haha. Chichi? Chichi. Imoto? Imoto. Kazoku. Kazoku. Kazoku wa imasu ka? Do you have a family? This is another one that I don't know if you would say it in a casual conversation. Like, if you see someone and they look like they're going through desperate times, you could ask them, Hey, do you have a family that you could go to? And they'll probably be like, No. Or... Yes, but I'm trying to run away from them, or something like that, or um, or this could be in the context of um, so you're having an office office party, an OL, OL party, so, no o OL is office lady. You're having an office party and you're just casually talking to people. It's like, oh, do you happen to have a family? Yeah, yeah, I have I have a daughter, a wife and a daughter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ask this to orphans. No. Hi, orphan. Do you have a family? No. Maybe ask in a crowded mall. Yeah, 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 yeah. To a child in like a crowded mall, it's like, do you have a family? Are you here with your family? Okay, we're gonna go try to find them. We'll go find the security and we'll we'll call their call their names out and we'll we'll find them. Okay, yeah, yeah. Not me nitpicking this game for like bringing up sentences that are rarely used. 
Yes, exactly. Um, funny enough, today, um, if Chi-Chi is a way of saying father, then what does that make Chi-Chi of DBZ? Chi-Chi in DBZ is probably even not supposed to be spelt that way. It's probably supposed to be spelt like this, which is how you say Chi-Chi or how you spell Chi-Chi in Chinese. Because Dragon Ball Z takes a lot of influence from like Chinese mythology in in regards to like you know uh it's underworld mythos the uh, Sun Wukong equivalency with um Goku's whole design that whole thing Chi Chi is also just a name it's just a name it's like saying so In English, Chi Chi is father. I thought Piccolo was the father. Yeah, Piccolo is the father. Uh, oh, is your family here? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. It could also mean, is your family here? Uh, the other thing I was going to say in regards to the whole Chi Chi thing is um, he, if we're going to find an English equivalent, right? Um, and this is a very odd case to think of, is, like, just because your name sounds like the meaning of a word does not mean that it is not your name. So, the last name Smith, right, is a very common white last name. And that exists because back in yonder days, when last names were not a thing, uh, you'd kind of be just named after your profession. So, like, John Smith would have used to be, like, John, who is a smith. Right? Right. So, just because someone has the last name Smith or is named Smith does not mean they are a smith. So just because Chi-Chi is named Chi-Chi does not mean she is the Japanese meaning of Chi-Chi. Are we understood? I know it was a joke, but are we understood? Like, my name means, um, a harbor port. My real name means a harbor or a port in Old English. It does not mean I am a harbor or a port. It means I'm... A wealth of knowledge. Oh, if only I could wink. Hi. Very good. Continuing on. Man, I, uh, I'm not going to comment on what I was just thinking of. Alright. Uh, his mother is well. That's good. <sighs> My father has. Who chose your family name? Ooh. I won't ask what it is, but it probably has. Let's see. You just said you were from Belgium. Um, I wouldn't know what language your name is influenced from. Don't tell me. You don't have to tell me. That's that's sensitive information. But if we're talking about, let's see. Um. The closest thing to, like, make an example of is, like, Denmark Danish. Yes, I know, it's not the same thing. Languages work differently. But, like, Norwegian, uh, Scandinavian languages. So, um, say, Rhine daughter means you're the daughter of Rhine. Or, uh, Thor, Thor son. Thor son would mean you are Thor son. Or the son of Thor. And then eventually... Oh, actually, a good example is from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Coulson uh, would have meant son of coal. And so that's how a good amount of some, some last names evolved over time. Was just, you know... Coulson was son of coal. But eventually it just evolved to remain Coulson. If that makes any sense. My father has 
eight siblings. Alright. My mother has ten siblings. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh where is your mother? Oh no. Um cat. Anata? No. Okasan. Wa. Doko? Doko? Doko. 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 Doko des? Des? Eh? Ka. Ah! Shh, shh. Doko i mas ka. Eh? Anata no oka san wa doko ni doko ni imasu ka. Okay. <laughs> so many siblings. That's clearly the ending of every harem anime. <laughs> Mine means the frozen one. Like someone who have a frozen earth. Okay. Interesting. Kururu. Hmm. Fascinating. Mine, mine, my last name is very boring. It's very common. And I'm not going to say it out loud. Right. Froze a cold heart. Cold hearted. Hmm. Interesting. My father and mother are fine. Uh, well, here's father. Des. Ototo. Not that one. Suck. No. Mo. Toimas. That would be the end of it. Mo. Haha. Genki. Kuni. Chichi mo haha mo genki des yay I got it chichi mo haha mo genki des mm. cold hearted yes that would be the phrase okay we're back to this all right where is it anata anata no no okasan okasan Wa, wa, doko, doko, ni, ni, ki, mas, ka. Anata no okasan wa doko ni mas ka. Yeah, we did it. No. Okay. And. Well, we didn't get very far, but I am starting to wear away at the seam. So I think I'm going to end it there. But we can... Oh, no. We can hang out a little bit and chill before I find someone to raid. Oof. Enjoy some little more of my coffee, then. Mmm. Ah. <sighs> That's very good. Very good coffee. I hope everyone had a good time here in the library studying Japanese with me. If anything, a good amount of you were very helpful in my learning, relearning of Japanese. Mm. Especially with, let's see, the differences between certain ways of saying the hot and the cold, the, uh, and such like that. So thank you, thank you. While I have you all here, can talk about my schedule coming up so that you all know what else is going on. So I have to minimize this. So this is what the rest of the week looks like. And sorry, yes, everything is in my time zone of Eastern Standard Time as, um, I don't have a lot of room on this uh, schedule that I I was able to take for free. So today was Duolingo. Uh, we spent a little bit of it making my intro video, which I will post as my intro video in today. And also that intro video was for another reason. For the next two days, um, at the very least tomorrow, we'll see about Friday. 
gonna go back and play this lovely game that I got from Ichio called Wonder Song. Uh, currently, the main character that we've named Bean, uh, he is going through a depressive phase, but he's a very sweet bard, and I hope to cheer him up. And it's a lovely game about singing. Ooh, yes! So, yeah, pretty much. Um, so, yeah, uh, most of these are all going to be 5 p.m. Why did I say resting 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time? <laughs> Ignore that. I'll be resting all day on Saturday. Um, but, you know, on Thursday, Wander Song, if we happen, if I happen to complete it on Thursday, I don't know if I will. I think there's quite a bit of game left. If I happen to complete Wonder Song on Thursday, I will do something else on Friday. Saturday, I will be resting because it will be the only day I really can. And then on Sunday, not on this channel, but it will be on a channel called Arrow in... Let me, let me grab the link, actually, so that I don't butcher this. Oh yeah, my desktop audio is still on, huh? Let's turn that off. Okay. So, this link that I'm about to post. That is the Twitch link for Arrow in a nutshell. Uh, it is where the collab event this Sunday will be happening. It'll be 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it's a game show of VTubers called Collab, called Collab or Betray. Uh, basically, it's kind of, if you've ever heard of the Bachelor, 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 Bachelorette shows that exist in America. Um, so one VTuber will be chosen as the Bachelor, we shall say, and the other ones will secretly decide Collab or Betray. And as the bachelor uh he'll they'll keep uh, saying no I, I don't want no not you no not you and kind of get her getting rid of us slowly but surely eventually there will be the one they chose and if that person they chose said collab they will collab and they will both be happy and they'll both win but if that person said betray then the bachelor does not win so it's an interesting, interesting type of thing. I don't know what else the game entails. Also, while I have you here. I do, I think a few of you have already joined it. But I do have a Discord, the Wealth of Knowledge Library. It is primarily in English, um, but the, the, the technology for translation does exist. You're, you're all very welcome to come in and discuss things. There are many of us who are giant nerds that play Yu-Gi-Oh, watch anime, and all of that type of jazz. So, there is always, there are people to discuss things with and for fun and such. Mm -hmm. All right. That about does it. Um, anything, anything, any more driblets of knowledge that, oh, oh, actually, well. That'll be something to discuss in the Discord. But I am trying to find a fan name for you all. And Reeve, one of our regulars, did come up with a good one that I, I think I actually really like. Knowledge Seekers. Because my whole vibe is that I eat knowledge. And what better way to get knowledge is, than to have fellow Knowledge Seekers. Mm-hmm. The link is dead. Oh, no. Invite invalid? This invite... Oh no! I'll have to fix that. Hold on. Let me see. Okay, there we go. That one should work. I, I literally just grabbed it. Actually, did I grab it from the right place? I did. Okay. 
That one should work. That's very strange. I didn't know that it changed. Here's a drip of knowledge. I have almost finished a few things. Make you test your knowledge offline. Ooh. Or online. Unless it's something unsay so. Because I don't want to get flagged by TOS. Yeah, you're welcome. Of course. I'm going to have to go into the MooBot and uh, fix that link then for for the future. Thank you for thank you for telling me that the link was broken. Mm -hmm. All right, without further ado, let's go find someone to raid. Who do we have online on my follows? Your stuff is all safe for work? I will believe it when I see it. Oh yeah, I was saying that we could raid Aki, Mizuno Aki. Um, let's, that's a, that's a, that's a top choice for me right now, because I have yet to raid him. I have not really associated with him yet, um, apart from being in the same chat as members of Invicta, or with the members of Invicta. Who else, who else? We have, uh, oh, we have a few people. Could also go to Nikki. Nikki, Nikki's playing some Dead by Daylight. Or could go with False. Although I don't know how long he was streaming before I started, so I don't know how long he's going for. You just enjoy tormenting friends, <laughs> okay? All right, let's let's go for Aki today because I have yet to be able to watch one of its streams. I think that's a fair reason. Uh, and raid message. If we want to do a raid message, um, eh, let's get the word out. Knowledge seekers seeking raid. Something like that. I think that, that that would be good, like, default raid message if, some, if nothing interesting happens during the stream. Although plenty, plenty of things happened. Uh, we read some weird thing about a, a fin whale. But anyways, everyone, thank you again for coming by and, lear and uh, continuing to learn Japanese or refresh in Japanese with me. Come on back another day and we'll see you soon. Oh, I forgot my catchphrase. Thank you for checking out the library. 